I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Silethi. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.27 from the chapter number 6. So the problem is design a counter with the following repeated binary sequence. So the sequence given is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and after 6 it will go to 0 because it is a repeated binary sequence. So we have to use here ZK flip flops. So first of all, let us find out the state table. So here we'll have present state. Next we have next state and here we'll have flip-flop inputs. So here we have to see that the maximum count is here 6. So 6 can be represented with minimum of 3 number of bits. Okay, so here we have to consider 3 bits A, B, C. A is the most significant bit and C is the less bit, least significant bit. Okay, so the next step suppose A of T plus 1, B of T plus 1 and C of T plus 1. And the flip-flop input will be J A K A J B K B J C K C. These are the three flip flops we have to use. So after finding out this J A K A J B K B and J C K C values, we will design the circuit. So the present state will start from zero. So zero zero zero. So with three bits, we'll have eight combinations. Okay, from zero 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 to one one one. So the repeated sequence is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so when we have 0, it will go to 1. That is 0, 0, 1. So if it is 1, it will go to 2. So 0, 1, 0. And similarly, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And for 6, and after 6, it will go to 0 again because it is a repeated binary sequence. Okay, so here we'll have 0, 0. 0 and for the 7 we do not know okay we are not given in the question so we will consider it to be don't care conditions so if we consider this don't care conditions j and k inputs will be don't care now let us find out the j a k a values okay for finding out j a and k a values what we have to do we have to see this first column and this fourth column because this is the present state and this is the next state okay so we have to use the excitation table of jk flip flop that is whenever we have Present state and next state, if they are 0 and 0, we will have 0 and don't care. If we have 0 and 1, it will be 1 and don't care. If it is 1 and 0, it will be don't care and 1. And if it is 1 and 1, that means if the present state is 1 and the next state is also 1, the J A and K input will be don't care and 0. So here we have 0 and 0, so it will be 0 and don't care. 0, 0, 0, don't care. 0, 0, 0, don't care. 0 1 it is 1 don't care and we have 1 1 that is don't care 0 1 1 don't care 0 so here we have 1 0 it will be don't care and 1 similarly we have to find out for this jb and kb we have to consider the second column that is the present state of b and this fifth column that is the next state of b so when we have 0 and 0 we'll have 0 and don't care 0 and 1 1 don't care okay 1 and 1 don't care 0 1 and 0 don't care 1 Okay, 0 and 0, 0 don't care. Then we have 0 and 1, 1 don't care. Okay, 1 and 0, don't care 1. So these are the J, B and K, B values. Now we have to find out J, C and K, C. For J, C and K, C, we have to consider this third column. For C, that is the present state of C. And the next state of C, this is the sixth column. Okay, so we have to consider this present state of C and this next state of C. And we have to compare this value. And we have to find out this JC and KC values using the excitation table of Jacob flip flop. So here we'll have 0 and 1, 1, don't care. So it is 1, 0, don't care, 1. Then we have 0 and 1, 1, don't care. Then 1 and 0, don't care, 1. 0 and 1, 1, don't care. Then we have 1, 0, don't care, 1. So we have 0 and 0. Then we will have 0 and don't care. So we have got this JAKA, JBKB, JC, KC values. Now we have to find out the expression for J, A, J, B, J, C and K, A, K, B, K, C using K map. So here we'll have a three variable map. Okay, now we have to fill up this K map with the values of J, A. Okay, for J, A we have 0, 0, 0, 1. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. So here we'll have 
zero 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 one don't care don't care don't care don't care so how you can combine so this will be one term therefore j a is equal to b c so we have got the expression for j a now we will find out the expression for k a therefore k map for k a so here also we will have a three variable map now we have to fill up this k map with the values of k a so k a values are don't care don't care don't care don't care zero zero one don't care don't care don't care don't care zero 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 one don't care so how you can combine so this will be one term so therefore k a is equal to so from here we will get it is b that means we can directly connect the second flip-flop output to this k a input now let us find out j b so similar process k map for j b so here also we will have a three variable map 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 a b c now we have to put the values of jb so here we have 0 1 don't care don't care 0 1 don't care don't care so here we'll have 0 1 don't care don't care 0 1 don't care don't care so this will be one combination so here we'll have jb is equal to so from this we'll get it is c that means jb is equal to c now let us find out k map for kb so here also we'll have a three variable map so we have to put the values of kb so kb values are don't care don't care zero one don't care don't care one don't care don't care don't care zero one don't care don't care one don't care so here we'll have this is one combination and this will be the second combination okay so k b is equal to from this term we will get it is a plus from this combination we will get it is c that is k b is equal to a plus c k map for j c so here we will have three variable map so the j c values are one don't care, one don't care, one don't care, zero don't care. One don't care, one don't care, one don't care, zero don't care. So how you can combine? So this will be one combination and this will be the second combination. So J C is equal to so from this term we'll get it is A bar plus from this term we'll get it is B bar. A bar plus B bar. Similarly, we have to find out for K C. Therefore, k map for k c. So here also we will have a three variable map. Here we have to put the values of k c. So k c values are don't care one, don't care one, don't care one, don't care, don't care. So don't care one, don't care one, don't care one, don't care, don't care. Okay, so we can take as a whole. Okay, so k c is equal to one. So we have got the expression for j c and k c. Now we have got the equations for j a k a j b k b j c k c. Now let us see the unused state that is seven. So here we have a b c a of t plus one b of t plus one and c of t plus one. So here we have j a k a j b k b j c k c so for the unused state suppose if we have one 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 by any kind of noise signal or any kind of interference in the circuit suppose if we have this present state is one 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 that is unused in the previous case because we have from zero one two three four five and six okay seven was unused state so now let us find out this j a k a j b k b and j c k c and from that we will find out the next step okay because we know the characteristic equation of j k flip flop so j a k a we can find out using the equations so this j a is b c so b into c so it will be one k a is b b is one here so it will be one so for j b k b we have to see the equations okay so j b is equal to c and k b is equal to a plus c so jb is equal to c so it will be one so kb is equal to a plus c 
a plus c so 1 plus 1 it will be 1 only because it is the or operation okay so for jc and kc these are the two equations jc is a bar plus b bar a bar plus b bar will be 0 and kc is 1 okay so it will be 1 irrespective of this input so now we have found out the j a k a j b k b and j c k c now we have to find out this next step from this inputs and this present state so a of t plus 1 we can find out using this j a k a and this a value of this present state so we know that for j k flip flop the next state output is equal to j q bar plus k bar q so here we will have j is 1 j q bar so this is the present state output so it will be 0 and k bar will be 0 and q is 1 so 0 into 1 it will be 0 so 0 plus 0 it will be 0 next we have same okay same same present state same inputs okay so here also we'll have 0 next we have 0 and 1 here you can see j q bar 0 into q bar so so it will be 0 plus k bar q k bar will be 0 0 into 1 so it will be 0 that means whenever we have this 1 1 1 state it will directly go to 0 0 0 so this is the used state and this one is the unused state unused state okay so we can say that if by any noise signal if we have 1 1 1 it will automatically recover or it will automatically correct the output to 0 0 0 okay so we need not to use any kind of self correction here now let us draw the circuit okay so we have got this inputs now we will use this inputs for designing the circuit so here we will have three jk flip flops so suppose this is one jk flip flop suppose this is jc kc here we will have this clock input here we will have the output is c so this is QC. Next we will have another JK flip flop. So here we will have JB, KB. Now here we have this clock input. This is the JB input, KB input. So here we will have QB. Okay, here we will have B. Again we will have another JK flip flop. This is the third JK flip flop. Here we will have JA, KA and a clock input let us connect this clock input suppose we have a negative edge triggering so here we will use a bubble here you can use positive edge triggering also okay no problem so here we apply this clock input next we have suppose here we have a active flow reset inputs so let us connect this clear so this clear inputs will be connected to this clear line that means for resetting this flip flops if required we will use this clear input so here we will have a this is q a now we will use this equations for giving this jc kc jb kb and j a k values for jc we have jc is a bar plus b bar here we will have this complemented output q a complement that is a bar here so take a line from a bar and bring to this side bring to this input side so this is a bar now suppose if we bring this a to this input side so this is so this is a suppose then we have here we have b bar q b complement because we have this complemented output okay suppose if we denote with a bubble okay this is complemented output so here we have b bar so here we will take a line from here and bring to this input side okay so here we'll have this b bar this is b bar then we have this b input okay bring it to the input side so this line this third line is for b we have this c input we need not to bring from c bar because we do not have c bar in the expressions okay so this is the line c now let us find out jc is a bar plus b bar so take a line from a bar take a line from b bar use a or get and this output will be a bar plus b bar okay and you have to connect to this jc input and kc is one okay so directly give here logic 1 next we have this jb and kb 
okay so jb expression is c okay that means directly you can connect from this c line so take a connection and connect with jb input because we have jb is equal to c and kb is a plus c okay so take a line from a this first line is a okay and another line from c you say or get and you have to connect to this kb input so here we have a plus c so and in this line we have c so we have got this jb and kb next we have this j a and k a j a is b c j a is b c so take a line from this third line that is b okay and you say n get okay so another input is b into c okay so take a line from c so here we'll have this is b c so you have to connect this line to this j a input and for k a we have it is equal to b okay so take a line from b this is the third line okay so from here you take a connection and directly connect it to k a so here we have b so this is the circuit design of this counter with a repeated binary sequence of 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you